Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with Star Smash! It's been a very long time <laughs> since I've done a video on Star Smash, but the reason is is I got really preoccupied with other gotchas, but I was always playing it in the background, just logging in daily, collecting some stuff. Um, so here, I'm gonna play some of the Cinderella event. Also, I forgot to put Do Not Disturb on my phone, so one moment. So yeah, some things have changed. Obviously now the story only has two kinds of stages now, but it's okay because all that um, star bits that you would have gotten from just playing, you can get from getting the characters to maximum level. Extra stage is of course the much harder stage. That's where you'll get the hero versus villain card, which in this case would be Cinderella versus Lady Tremaine. And then main stage is where you can collect metal gotchas to collect um, got just to, in order to pull on this, and here you can get the fairy godmother with the female main character that I cannot remember the name at the moment. Um, so let's jump in. I'm gonna immediately start looking for a, a fight, so let's see if that works out. Okay, it looks like I found someone. Um, so obviously Cinderella is the best unit for this fight. It gives a lot of bonus. Um, any shadow unit will kind of do. Um, Cinderella is literally built for this fight because she can stop the the spike balls that uh, show up at the bottom. And she also has a specific homing attack as her main skill that is actually super, super useful. Um, oh, the music sounds a little bit funky. Let me go fix that real quick while my, my uh, partners take their turn. All right, we're back. So obviously Cinderella is the best unit for this. This festival unit right here, which is what I'm calling them, I don't know what they're actually called because it's in Japanese, is also pretty good. The one thing that's bad is that he can't stop the spike balls. So if you use his three ball special, it will automatically kill you like like that, as you can see here. But it's fine because their main ability and skill is just so good that they're worth using. So let's see if this guy over here, we've literally picked, I think, I think the best team for this event is four Cinderella's. But we picked something equally good, which is two Cinderella's and um, two of the festival units of these dudes. So let's go and see if we can do it. Yeah, he can do it. That's why they're so good. That main ability literally makes up for their main uh, ults being so trash, I guess. It's actually not trash. It's only really bad against spike balls and black holes. But against everything else, if you don't have that, it's very good. So let me put it down a little bit. Alright, not bad. So the main thing about this boss here, which has been kind of a pain in the butt to deal with with uh, co-op groups. You're about to see the boss right here. Alright. So you have to take care of their little people right here, or else you're just going to get completely crapped on. And of course there goes the connection right when it's my turn to actually play. So I'm not going to use 3-ball, because it's too dangerous. So I'm instead going to go here. But yeah, it's actually super frustrating fighting this boss because nobody knows that, um... So I'm gonna try and kill him as quickly as possible before his charge meter comes up. There we go. Almost there. Yes! Perfect! So if he does that charge, basically absolutely everyone attacks. And if you get rid of everyone, then the charge does nothing. Not a lot of people know that, though. <laughs> so you usually end up in a lot of situations. Also, the purple one you see there is what breaks the barrier, and also this should be an easy fight now. Uh, this Cinderella's 100% got it. Like, that ability is really good for what needs to be done here. None of the um, traps actually hurt her at all. So I think she's got this. Oh. And of course, it is also a clock because, you know, Cinderella ran out of time. Very smart. I love... I love Star Smash so much. They put a lot of effort into things you wouldn't really think about. Interesting to kind of waste the skill like that. Um, I would consider this a waste. <laughs> Using the big ball when there's not a lot of enemies is, I think, a waste, but it's fine. They just wanted to get rid of this boss as soon as possible, which I can understand. But yeah, if you keep in track of... If you can get rid of all the little dancer dudes in time, then the boss really isn't that tough. But some people have trouble understanding that. At least I found people <laughs> having trouble understanding that. Alright. Gonna end it real quick. I don't know why they're flexing like this, but sure. Okay. Almost. Tried to get 100%. I always try and go for 100%. Yeah, J1. That should be enough to kill completely. 
Yeah, now here comes the best part of any fight. Throwing up the emo. <laughs> we did it. Congra good, 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 good job, everyone. That's a new record for me, too. That was, again, a fantastic team setup, for sure. And because we had two Cinderella's, we get a big boost, I think. Um, let's see how much we get. Okay. <laughs> it costs 300 of these shoes for one Cinderella, by the way. So I've easily got at least 10 Cinderella's plus because of that one fight. All right, I'm gonna go into the main stage right now. Well, give me a sec to reset the, the sound. All right, and here's the basic main stage on hard. It's really easy compared to everything else you're kind of dealing with. Um, so much so that I'm okay with this team. This guy just wants to go? Do you want to go, friend? All right, I was about to say, if you don't go, I'm just gonna leave. Like, I was about to say, it's so easy that I'm like, eh, it's a Mickey, whatever, who cares? Um, I'm about to lose internet, because my phone data, my phone has been acting very bad lately, so I think I'm about to lose internet on this. One moment. Whenever it starts up, I'll start it up. All right, I lost internet, so unfortunately I kind of have to play this with extremely bad units. Um, it should be fine though, because as you can see here, I can show off this main ability, which is nuts. It is insanely good. To the point where it makes up for any bad badness of other players. And I should also mention it's only the main Mickey I don't like. The others are perfectly fine. This bell is, I think, great. So let me go here. Come on. The one thing I haven't gotten a hang of is exactly the trajectory of it. Because it has like a very specific trajectory that I don't have 100% access to. This guy really just not take any damage at all. Come on. He's gonna get hit one more time, baby. Come on. Oh, come on. Yes! Wave clear. Good job, Bell. Alright, so here we have... Oh, no, this this one I've been wanting. It's the the, the main character with Jacques and Guskus. Who is me, Guskus? That's also how Guskus talks in... I'm pretty positive that's how Guskus talks. I actually don't know they're special enough to actually risk it. Oh, okay, that's what Bell's super is. It's the additional. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, the clock is about to run out on me. Yep. Let me quickly go here. Let me get past the shield. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, J Jack and Gus Gus. Come on! Aw, oh, damn it. I'm not gonna hit him in time. I bet it's fine because I don't want to... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I want to save my main dude here, because uh, he's not going to start with his ability, so I would much rather go into the final fight with his ability intact. There you go, that's what I was trying to say. There we go. Good job. Alright, let's see. What special does Mickey have? Oh, okay. I think that's... No, no, it should work out. This works out because he should be able to get everything. The special I really like in terms of being able to just get everything on the on the field. It's really good for crowd control as long as there's nothing bad in your way. Like if you have a black hole, then you kind you're kind of out of luck in that case. Um, the black hole is. I got hit by some damage. The the black hole can stop the the giant ball of death. Let me go up here. I unfortunately miss with my character's ability, which is why this boss is still alive. But it should be fine. I'll, I'll kill him with Bell. I think this is a... yeah, it's the stringy. Oh, come on. Stringy is also very... Um, I'm not very good with stringy, I should say. There we go, he's dead. Out of my face. Nice, nice, nice. Stage clear. So yeah, that's that's the Cinderella event. Um, the boss is real annoying if you don't have a character that can stop uh, 
the spiky death ball because everyone doesn't everyone underestimates spiky death until the spiky death is brought to them Ooh, not bad not bad not as good it's way harder to actually finish this gut because look at how much you have to it's not how much you have to pull it's 100 you should get every single thing in the step ups because it's good um ooh, here we go but yeah, that's Star Smash. The other thing that's different is that you can see that meter where he gets the full bonus, then you kind of enter this like extreme rush mode where you can just play it a whole bunch of times and you get bonus for stuff. Um, the other thing that's different is of course you can buy it here. Previously you did the extra stage and then you got character drops, but that kind of sucked and they realized that that sucks. So we have this model now, which is way better. So let me just get all 18 of this Cinderella and I can show you Literally, the event has only been out for a little bit. I've only done maybe 10 stages in total of everything. Not like, I've done maybe just a little bit of this. Like, at most, I've done it maybe five times, and I'm already at 33. Man. I should also mention, I was talking to my brother about this. This is maybe the greatest flex in all of Disney. It is the if you've never seen Cinderella, let me allow me for the end of it to talk about this specific specific moment. Uh, Cinderella has been locked away in a tower. Um, Lady Tremaine has basically put out her ugly ass daughters, which aren't that ugly, but they're ugly for the sake of the movie. Um, and their big ass feet don't fit inside the the, the glass slipper. So. She puts Cinderella away in a tower because she realizes, oh my god, that was the beautiful blonde woman I saw dancing with the prince. There's only <laughs> two blonde women in the entire nation and that's uh, one of them is dead because that was Cinderella's mom. So she blocks her in a tower, Gus Gus and, Fra and Jacques save him. She comes down, the guy who I forget the name of, who is the king's right hand man, is getting ready to put the glass supper on her that was dropped when she ran away from the prince. Uh, Lady Tremaine trips the dude and they the, 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 the glass slipper falls and then everyone's like, oh no, now she can't put on the print she can't put on the slipper to show that she is the true queen or the true lady that was dancing with the prince and who the prince fell in love with. But then Cinderella says, Oh, it's okay, I have the spare. And she fucking whips out the spare glass slipper. <laughs> and at that point she doesn't need to put on the slipper. Because it is known that if she has the glass slipper, then she was the fucking girl who was at the goddamn dance. <laughs> but she puts it on anyway, <laughs> just for 100%. And I'm glad that they made that moment into this card. So that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Thank you for indulging me in my Disney talk, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.